Hello everyone, after a long time. So for the past few days I have been experimenting a lot with GTK and I thought why not try something new instead of just like taking a random theme and slapping a con key on top of it. Let's try to create something new. So I thought why not port Google's Material 3 designs to GTK 4. Now I'm pretty sure it would not be completely perfect following all the guidelines but at least we can try to achieve something that would look good. And at the same time, with the help of Evolve, maybe use adaptive theming to achieve something similar to Google's Material U. And also, my voice and pronunciation might be a bit off in this video because I have a really bad cold. But before we begin, we need to clear a little bit about CSS. Now, it's not like you need to be an expert in CSS in order to do this. To be honest, I myself have zero experience with CSS. So, uh, it was like I have... A moderate experience with Flutter so it's very similar to those so yeah I, I just guessed stuff from there take for example there's a box name it A and inside that box is another box name it B now you see there's a gap between the two boxes right now this gap is margin for box B and padding for box A now if you add padding to box A it will look the same as you add margin to box B. Similarly, inside box B, maybe you can put some random text like hello and the distance or the gap between the text and the borders of box B is again padding for box B. So basically inside gap is padding and outside gap is margin. Another such variable is uh, border radius which usually defines how much rounded corners you would like to have in your rectangles. So this is zero pixels of rounded corners and if you increase it to 10, it will look like this, 20, 30, and it can just go on to that point after which it looks like a pill-shaped button. Another search variable is background color. Again, the name is pretty self-explanatory. That's all that you would be requiring for this video, so it's nothing to get scared. Okay, for the first step, you will have to install Evolve. Now make sure you have the version 1.6.1 uh, and also build number 163. Now there's a very important reason why I included uh, this necessary to install the build number 163 because there are certain features we are going to use it from here. Evolve, if you don't know already, is a free modern GTK theme manager. You can download it from the link in the description. If you want, you can support this app development on Patreon and get access to alpha builds before they are made public. And also, along with that, get access to other apps like Nectar, which is a modern vector graphic software created specifically for Linux. Okay, let's continue. For the first step, we are going to install a new theme. So after you open Evolve, head over to the theme store and search for Colloid. Here we have Colloid GTK theme and hit install. Now one of the many advantages of installing themes from here is you do not have to do all those git cloning and everything. Everything will be managed by the app itself and it will automatically run the official script that is meant for installing the theme. So all the theme installations inside Evolve are done in the official manner just like the developer of the theme uh, intended to install it on your system. So as you can see it launches in the terminal and it installs all the themes. Okay that's all done. Now you can just click over here okay we have to just refresh the page and apply colloid dark. Okay now we need a color picker make sure to get a color picker from the uh, app store just search for color picker and you will get one now i took the inspiration or the colors from this app this is basically my own finance manager okay i will be looking over here because i have the script open here uh, please don't mind that because this entire video is a bit too big and also i have the recording going on so i need to check occasionally because this is the second time i'm recording the entire video okay head over to dot uh, themes again yeah dot themes and here we have colloid dark inside that we have gtk4 and these are the files we need actually these are already present inside dot config because if you apply the theme through evolve it is also already applied for gtk4 if you want to check it you just have to open the settings page in order to check so dot config slash gtk oops four and gtk.css. This is the file which, which we need to edit. Here we have it. 
Okay, first things first, let us change the background color. For that, we need to search for the variable. That is the window BG color. So this is what we need to change. Now window BG color is used in background, dot background, as you can see. So I'll just change it from the variable, sorry, from this one. Yeah. Now you might have already seen that the text editor is using the GTK4 theme that I intended. I mean after editing what it would look like and that is because I already had created the video but in the midpoint somewhere I found that the entire video recording had freezed so no screen recording data was there anyway I'm doing it again so let's pick the background color and apply it for the background color over here done now let's open settings and as you can see the background color is changed now let's change the color of the sidebar. So search for sidebar. Sidebar BG color. This is the one that we need to change. So search for the variable. Here we have it. Now we are going to change both of them to a lighter variant. Let's go for this one. Save and again reopen settings page to check it out. Uh, looks nice, but but I think for the sidebar if you check the official again material 3 design guidelines They use the same color for the main app page. So let's switch it To the default background color so this one Great now there's a problem over here if you switch to a different app it looks like this so I have to again change the sidebar backdrop color too along with that so let's change that done I think it should work now okay looks much better now let's change the container colors over here to something else now it's defined by a variable that I have already saved over here so I'll just search for it and as you can see here we are now change the border radius to 30 pixels because in material 3 design you will find the elements to be having a really nice border radius or rounded corners let's also change the card color so the card bg color i'm going to change it to this one nice and done let's reopen settings and there we go looks pretty good now as you can see the selections look a bit bad because they are leaking from the sides and I didn't really find any fix for that so I probably have to remove them I'll just set the opacity to be 0.0, .0 so it doesn't cause any more issues we also need to add a bit of padding over here so like I mentioned padding and margin now uh, I forgot to mention that the padding can be different for different sides along with the margin so this is for top right bottom and this is left so i have put padding in the right side and the left side so let's see how it looks like reopen the app looks nice i think we can reduce the padding in the sides to maybe three and also the margin to be three so it looks better Okay, and maybe add some margin in the top part. Like, let's go for five. Five, let's see how it looks like, top and bottom. Okay, it's starting to look better. Now let's change the button. Now I'm going to change the border radius to 30 pixels. You can reopen the app. Yeah, as you can see, the borders look border radius looks much better now I think there's a bit of excessive padding in the right side or margin whatever you would call it so that needs to be resolved so again search for this thing so in the right side top right let's go for yeah, now it looks much better. Great. Okay, 
now the sidebar buttons the sidebar buttons are the navigation sidebar uh, if you see the material design let's search for sidebar sidebar or what they like to call it uh, navigation drawer so it uses the default accent color in the navigation sidebar and, and the buttons are pill shaped so there are two changes we need to do so search for this navigation sidebar row which will give us the access to the buttons now uh, there's padding in the top right part we have some padding but not in the left part due to some reason let's add there are some margins too let's set the border radius to be uh, 30 pixels what you can do is set it to 9999 which is typically used for getting uh, rounded corners to such an extent that your elements look like pill shaped the one that we are going to target over here and also we're going to change the color for selected sidebar so let's change this again we need the color picker and let's go for this color now for the other colors i would like to switch to the same one but with different opacities which i can adjust later again great now again relaunch the application and as you can see it looks much nicer uh, I think for the sidebar we can increase the lightness of the color maybe let's go for this color for the sidebar selected great yeah looks much better okay selected hover is looking a bit bad Okay, let's check it out again. Nope. Let's do one thing white and set this to be very less in opacity. Hmm, that's not working. Let's increase the lightness of this, increase the value. and use this color yeah nicer okay for the other hovers it doesn't look that good let's change this to 1.0 we can remove the alpha method later yeah it looks pretty nice okay we have the sidebar ready now a few more changes need to be done like here the images do not have rounded corners so i'm going to add a few lines of code just copy this part and uh, i've also commented everything so i'm using 15 pixels of border radius because the outside border radius is 30 pixels and it will looks look really nice if i use 15 pixels because that's half of the 30 pixels supposed to look good so as you can see it matches very well with the outside background I mean sorry border radius the same goes for the other parts for example mouse and trackpad you have the same border radius over here and it looks pretty good now let's change these part uh, I mean portions for that there are two color codes that I need to replace one is 2c 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 it needs to be replaced with a different color code is this one replace all done and another one is 242424 that also needs to be replaced with the default i mean the background color that i'm using the dark one yeah now if i again open this and get over here as you can see it uses the correct colors okay the final thing that we need to change is the search bar the text box i don't really like the text box of material 3 i think like they could have included more amount of uh, rounded corners in order to match the other ui elements but they are pretty sharp due to some reason so you can do the changes if you want it's a it's a small snippet that you need to add it's a small part 
which you can add. Now again, if I reopen this thing, you will notice the changes again. So here we have the different text box as intended. Okay, so that's all for GTK4. Now let's try, try to modify the GNOME shell. So right now it's using the colloid GTK theme. What we need to change to is the default theme. But how do we edit the default theme of uh, GNOME? That is pretty simple. You just head over to settings and click make default theme editable, shell theme editable. Continue and I'll put the name material 3 and done. Now I can just switch over to material 3 from here and that's all. Now first things first, I'm going to change all the solid black colors to the dark background color like we had in the original, I mean in our app. Now uh, here this becomes very important especially because we have the new color code section over in the bottom part. In the previous versions, Evolve unfortunately did not have the color code and I had to kind of like eyeball the colors. I don't really know why why I did not include this portion. But thankfully, it's uh, added. So, changing colors are pretty simple now. Just copy the color code, double click and paste it. Same goes for the other blacks. Now you might wonder why the other blacks are looking like grayish and that is because they are having different opacities and hence the grayish look. Now you might have already noticed that the accent color that is blue is not present inside the file. Now why that is the case? There's a new variable in GNOME 47 that is the ST uh, accent color which is used for fetching the accent color that is used by Groom in the in the theme now the, the default shell theme would look very much different if you don't have the Groom 47 version but yeah instead of the ST background color sorry ST accent color you just use the color of your choice whatever you like so for this case I'm going to use blue because the background wallpaper is blue but don't worry I'm going to change the wallpaper I don't really like it that much let's go for this in the lighter areas just change this one this one and this done apply system I'll just change to a different theme and again back to material 3 and as you can see it has that bluish tint and it looks really nice Okay, that's all everything you need to do on Evolve. Now we need to again manually open the file and start editing. Oh, wow. Check this out. Nautilus is already using the theme without logging out and logging back in. And it looks pretty good. Okay, again, get back to dot themes and open material 3, gnome shell. And here we go. Okay, for the colors that are mentioned over here we need to search for specifically one word or rather two words that is dot quick toggle as you can see dot quick toggle checked now i'm going to show a small demo over here i'm going to save this and maybe switch to a different theme and back to material 3 again and as you can see it all changes to white so this is the particular variable we need to change now I don't really like how uh, bright the accent color is showing up over there so I would rather go for like uh, a bit of a transparent version of this this one so replace it with this done and again I'll just switch back to material 3 and as you can see it's starting to get look darker I think 0 0.7 will look better The accent color now does not stand out that much and I am really liking that. Now let's change the top bar. So here we have the height and everything. 
Let's go for border radius, maybe like 30 pixels again. And we are also going to add some margin. Mm. Let's add 10 pixels of margin. I think that will be too much. Let's go for 3 pixels. And for the padding, we are going to add an equal generous amount of not 3 but 2 pixels. That's great. Switch back to something else, back to material 3 and yeah, it's looking nice. It's looking nice. I think we need to add a little bit more of the margin. So maybe let's go for 5 pixels, 3 pixels of padding. Yeah, looks, looks good. Okay, now let's change the wallpaper to something lighter like this one so that the thing is visible great now the advantage of this is right now it looks very well matched with the wallpaper right looks very nice if you want to apply a different wallpaper maybe this red one due to some reason you think it looks nice you can just right click and turn on adaptive colors and just like material you the colors of your entire system along with GNOME Shell, uh, GTK4, everything will be adapted in order to make them look consistent with the background wallpaper. Now I know it isn't perfect and not completely compatible with GNOME 47. Uh, as you can see the accent colors are all changed to red because of that. But I think it is a pretty easy fix and I can uh, channel the entire app look based on the current accent colors that you select from the GNOME settings app. Uh, but I think that's a topic for another video and uh, and this theme in particular has a lot of potential if I use it with maybe a GDK3 counterpart if I design it and couple them together, I mean put them together in order to release a theme pack along with a custom designed con key just like those material 3 widgets that you see. So that's a video that is pending and will be coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Also, again, let's change to a different one, maybe this one. And again, everything will be adapted according to the changed wallpaper and things will look very consistent. So again, as you can see, they are all adapted accordingly. So if you want, you can again change stuff from here. I'll change to purple. I think that will go better with this one. Uh, if I open the file manager again, it is also looking very consistent with the current background that is set. Okay, so that's all for this video. I understand it's not a complete theming video, but at the same time, again, I mentioned like this theme has a lot of potential. I, I think in the future I will be releasing a complete theme pack uh, with this particular theme. It takes a lot of time uh, while creating a theme, so I thought why not share that process with you guys. Uh, through this video. Okay, so that's all again. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.